If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. We got back to back but Coley news. Hey. 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 Hey, I'm looking forward to this, man. We just dropped a Bacoli video. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out if you haven't done so already. Shame on you. Tighten up. But remember in that last video, we had announced that Bacoli should be on the undercard of the Usyk Fury rematch on December 21st. But we did not have an opponent for him yet. They have not determined who the opponent was. They have not secured an opponent. It was to be announced. Ben Shalom uh, of Boxer, he kind of uh, was teasing us and flirting, talking about, hey, man, we got somebody that I ain't going to say is Zay Lay Zang, but I'm not going to confirm nor deny. I'm just going to let you know it's somebody you're going to be happy with. And he was not lying, man. You know who he's fighting? Do you know who he's fighting? His opponent is legit. And he goes by the name of Ajit. Yes, Ajit Kabayel. I pronounce it Ajit. It might be Agit Kabayel. I call it Ajit because Ajit is legit. You know, Ajit Kabayel is coming off of victories off of Aslan Abak Makhmadov, where he, where he first burst on the scene, upset him. Then he also, he just beat, um, who the heck did he just beat? Frank Sanchez, right? Yeah, he just beat Frank Sanchez. My bad, had to pause for a little bit. That was another great win. I think Frank Sanchez could bounce back. Arzlana back Makhmadov, not so much because he just took another L to Guido Vianello. But anyway, Ajit Caballero is a great fighter, man. I'm looking forward to this. He's one of the sleeper picks in the heavyweight division, man. I'm, I've re been really big on him, you know what I'm saying? Just like Bacoli. I've been really big on Bacoli. I will say this, though. Now, me, I'm excited for this fight. But I was taking a little aback because I was like, man, you know, the fight that I wanted, prioritized, was Bacoli versus Big Bang Zhang. And I wanted Joseph Parker versus Ajit Caballero. But... They're like, hold on, you know, we're going to switch it up and go this route. And Bacoli and Ajika Bayel, they're both, you know, Bacoli just burst on the scene by beating Jeremy Baby Anderson. But they're both like on the cusp of being a star. And I think that while this is a great fight, somebody's going to get eliminated from stardom. But that's what Riyadh season is about, right? Riyadh season is the definition of winning or go home. And so somebody's going to have to go home and they're, 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 uh, their career will be derailed for a little bit, but they can still bounce back because one thing about Big Turk, he hasn't been uh, uh, sending these fighters to, to the side once they lose. He gives them another chance. However, I think that somebody, unfortunately, will, you know, have their plans, at least immediate plans, get set aside a little bit. And I was like, man, I would prefer to see a Jit Kabeo versus Joseph Parker or Bacoli versus Zhang. However, the good news, this is a title eliminator for guess whose title we talking about? Daniel Dubois, the IBF champion. So the winner of Ajit Kabayel versus Martin Bacoli could potentially get Daniel Dubois. I'm telling you, man, this heavyweight division, man, it's it's on fire right now, man. Anybody who talk about they don't like the heavyweight division, you're, you're tripping. You're tripping and you need to be drug tested. You know what I'm talking about? Check your sobriety levels because you drunk. Because this heavyweight division is fire. I'm talking about we got Alexander Usyk and, and Tyson Fury about to fight. So that's two right there. We still got Anthony Joshua. He's a live dog. Even though he lost to Dubois. You know, you only... We picked Dubois, actually. You know, Dubois is a good fighter. So there's no shame in that. Like I said, we got Dubois. We got Martin Bacoli. We got Ajit Kabayel. We have F.A. Jogba. We have Guido Vianello. We have... Um, Frank Sanchez coming off of a loss, he can still bounce back. Phil Hergovic coming off of a loss, he can still bounce back. The list goes on and on and on, man. I'm not going to name everybody Big, Big Bang Zang. You know what I'm saying? Zay Lay Zang. There's so many great fighters, man. Heavyweight division is dope. And and while, I will say this, they did not announce a specific date for Bacoli versus Caballero, we could assume that, we could hope that, you know, that it'll be on December 21st with uh, Fury and, and, and Usyk undercar for the rematch, man. So, be prepared for that, man. We could be having Bacoli versus Caballero, an early pick right now off the gate. Like I said, Ajit Caballero, he was my sleeper pick for the heavyweight division, and so was Bacoli. These are my two favorite heavyweights right now. Oh, I love this fight, man. Right off of my, my gut, my gut, I don't know. <laughs> my gut's going with Bacoli right now because... um. But then Ajit Caballero, man, that pressure, he's like, he's like the pit bull of the heavyweight division, man. And 
Oh man, this this is a this is a banger, man. This is a banger, man. Fajit can touch that body, which he's good for that body work. That's how he broke down Frank Sanchez. Bacoli, he a little soggy in that belly. You know what I'm talking about? We can see how it goes, but the Bacoli with that big engine could put the paws to him. Caballero does get hit, man. So like I said, I don't know, man. This fight, give me give me a couple days. I'm gonna get back to you with my prediction, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Let me know what y'all think about this fight in the comments, man. Hey, heavyweight division is on fire right now. Don't forget, above all things, remember with God we can do anything without God we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.